What's it like to bike in Boise, Idaho? That's the question I'm asking today. And I'm going to try to answer it by going through a bunch of online route maps um, and just to see what it's like there. I want to let you know that I don't live in Boise, Idaho, um, and I have not visited. I don't think anything can replace having firsthand knowledge of speaking to someone that lives and bikes in Boise. With that being said, if that's you, I would actually love to interview you in the near future um, in a similar format to this about what it's like to bike in Boise. So if you're interested, just go down to the description. I'd love to get your expertise and knowledge as it relates to the cycling scene there when it comes to bike commuting, bike packing, bike touring, mountain biking, road biking, everything. Let's dive deep. Okay. So without further ado, let's take a look into what I can find online. So right here, I'm on mtbproject.com um, and Boise seems to be really stacked with trails. So downtown is kind of like right around here. And the exciting part to me is you've got trailheads right near downtown within a mile of bike ride. Um, there's like five different parking lots. What's nice is you're not necessarily going to have to drive to those parking lots. You could easily bike just five, 10, 15 minutes to get to a plethora of trails. And not only that, but you also have this uh, 16, 17.9 mile Boise River Greenbelt, which runs along the Boise River as a way to get northwest to a town called Eagle, where they've got some more mountain biking, and south is well. So that's going to be a great way to navigate the local area is along that river. Um, and if you're able to position yourself in an area close to the river, you're going to have a lot of options for where you can go, ideally fairly car free as well. So trail link, which shows rail trails um, and dedicated bike paths just kind of echoes, um, you know, what we're seeing on MTB project. Let's take a look at where people are cycling right now with a Strava heat map. So you can see there's a lot of people going along the river. Let me switch between um, uh, let's, let's do satellite here. So you can see there's a lot of people going along the river and then a lot of people going up into the mountains here as well. Let's take a look at the 3d terrain and see how well it positions. Let's see. Let's check out these mountains. Ah, yeah, that actually is a pretty good, cool visualization. Um, wow. Okay. So <laughs> that's beautiful. There's a lot of riding I see up here on these peaks. I mean, imagine riding up there like that view must be beautiful and i'm guessing there's probably a lot of hike a bike to get up there but so most of the riding what we're seeing is like along the river and then up in the mountain biking uh areas um outside of the city so as far as what walkscore.com gives boise for biking it's a 62 which they would argue makes this a somewhat bikeable oh actually not somewhat bikeable, bikeable with some bike infrastructure what I would argue, though, is with the if you're able to position yourself in the right spot and depending on your work or depending on, you know, maybe you're just visiting there, you're going to be able to situate yourself in a great spot where you're not really going to need to worry about running into too many cars. OK, as far as gravel riding, we got some options in Boise. Um, looks like this one. This one might either be the bike path that goes along the river or just kind of ride in tandem with it. There's a hundred mile loop that goes out here. But you see, there's a bunch of options for really long rides into Boise National Forest and up through Idaho, which is just sounds really fun. Um, yeah, 99 miles, like we got a 67 mile route. There's a lot of open land out there. That's exciting. So you've got options. I'm seeing this dense area of gravel biking here, which I might have to do a deeper look into. Looks like Gannett, Idaho. Um, this could be an interesting place to look um, in the future uh, for one of these videos. As far as bike shops in Boise, there's no shortage. We got one, two, three, four, five. Well, I guess this is Eagle Bike Shop might technically be an Eagle. Um, Idaho Mountain Touring, Georgia Cycles. You got options. That's a great sign for the culture and as far as having support um, with the biking that you do do. I just said do do. Dang. I shouldn't have said anything about that. Um, all right. Climate in Boise, Idaho. Boise, Idaho gets 13 inches of rain per year. On average, the U.S. gets 38 inches, so it must not rain much there compared to what I'm used to. I'm, I'm from Florida, so we get a lot of rain there. I don't know how much, but it's insane. 18 inches of snow per year, um, 206 sunny days per year. The U.S. average is 205, so that's pretty, pretty average. This is my favorite thing to look at, though, is the best places comfort index. Um, and they give Boise a 7.3 
on average, 10 equals best, zero equals worst. And basically, you know, winter is going to be a bit colder. Summer is more a can better candidate for riding in comfortable weather. You've got March 6.7, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, all above a seven. So you got about seven months out of the year um, that are above a seven and then five that are below a seven. Good thing is you're kind of close to some skiing areas up there. So if you're into skiing in the winter, you can take advantage of that um, or you can keep riding and suit up. So as far as bike touring out there, let's take a closer look at the adventure cycling routes. Now, adventure cycling is based in Missoula, Montana. So you've got a lot of routes out there. You go down just Southwest and you've got Boise. And this is a beautiful thing. You've got the Idaho Hot Springs mountain bike route. It's a mountain bike touring route, 517.5 miles. Um, and what I like about this is you've got a bunch of different loops you can do. So you see, you can go up into the mountains here and do like a shorter loop. You can do the whole loop. You can do go left and do a loop and go back. And you've got options and there's, I'm sure, well, it doesn't look like it connects with any of the other bike touring routes that, um, that, um, adventure cycling has, but I'm confident you could probably figure something out. Nonetheless, if you're in this area, I mean, you've got a plethora of adventure cycling, um, compared to some other plates places in the United States and, and some, some beautiful mountains. So what mountain range is Idaho? Sawtooth National Forest, Boise National Forest, um, Wallowa Whitman National Forest. I'm going to have to learn what mountain range it is. You've got Craters of the Moon National Monument Preserve. Interesting. All right. I could look at maps all day. Let's get back on topic. As far as bike packing routes, you know, adventure cycling generally has more on road routes, and bike packing is more geared towards off road. Although it looks like this is kind of similar. This route is kind of similar to what the uh, adventure cycling route is. It's an off-road route. There's the Idaho Smoke 400 loop, which would be a great, you know, it could be a 20-day adventure, a 10-day adventure, a four-day adventure, depending on how wild you are um, and uh, how much time you're willing to spend on the saddle. But there's also a 100-mile loop right here that bikepacking has. And what's cool is once, if we zoom out a little bit, you see... Um, you know, the trails, you, you're really close to the, the great divide mountain bike route. Uh, well, not really close. You're definitely gonna have to drive or do a long bike ride to get there. And you've got the Western wildlands route, um, then a bunch of riding in, in Oregon, you got options. So what I would say about, um, about Boise, Idaho is it is a very interesting place when you combine the green belt that goes along the river and you also combine the mountain biking, you've got in the mountains, the skiing in the winter, the adventure cycling routes, you know, being so close to a national forest, which means you got free dispersed camping. Boise sounds like an interesting place. And like I said, if you live there, you bike there a bunch, I'd love to interview you to get some more detailed information about what it's like. With that being said, I'm gonna be doing a bunch more of these videos and you're just starting out, but gonna crush it over the next few months and analyze a ton of different cities starting in the US and across the world in the future, um, hoping to grow the idea of using the bike as our day-to-day -day travel device and fun device and health device and just so many great things. So with that being said, thanks for watching and hope to see you on the bike one of these days. Peace.